why I won't hide your seed, my lawn. This is my yard in 2022 in the very front. As you can see, it looks, it's terrible. It's full of crabgrass, Dallas grass, dandelions, Vespadiza, whatever weed you can think of. I mean, you name it, it was there. This is uh, some of the weeds starting to die after about a treatment or so. But it was definitely um, a task. So before I can get off into understanding how to treat others' yards, I wanted to have my own property as a plot to practice on. But this is now the lawn being cut. And as you can see, it's still full of crabgrass, Dallas grass. <clears throat> it don't matter. That was my turf. And since it's my house, you can see the Bermuda starting to break through after a few treatments. But since it's my house, I figured I'll just be patient and just go through it. I don't want to put any different types of seeds on the lawn. Right here, a tree used to be right here. Big old oak tree. It's completely bare at this point. And I left it alone. Don't want to put nothing down. As bad as it looks. I didn't want to put nothing down because I want the Bermudas to spread. That's why I want Hydro Seed my lawn. I'm sitting on almost an acre. The front, both sides together, probably about uh probably about you know uh, a quarter acre in the front. Uh, both sides combined but as you can see it, it's, it's scalped at this point the lowest possible level i can get it in 2022 got it down treated throughout the winter you can see it's brown um i put chemicals on the lawn to kill everything because i wanted to open up the the soil for nothing but bermuda to start growing in 2023 20, around springtime, this is all Bermuda. This is all Bermuda right here. This was like uh, March of 2023. Bermuda starting to take shape. You can see I killed everything off in order for the Bermuda to start filling up those spots. And it still looks bad. Still looks bad, but it's a process I'm willing to go through in order to get what I need without putting down uh, hydro seeding, uh, putting down. Uh, uh, hybrid Bermuda don't want to do that you know that little area we just saw where it's thick I want the whole yard to get just like that right here so I'm gonna be patient uh, of course it's not gonna grow over there by the boat it's patchy I mean it has to just spread and I, I just have like I said I have to be patient which is what I am willing and was willing to do you saw the tree right there we got that down we're eventually gonna move the boat this is later on in 2023, around May. First shot was around uh, March. So this is May. And you can see that the Bermuda is actually starting to spread. Still got a big old patch up front. I don't mind. Like I say, it's, it's my house. So I can take my time on it. You know, it's spreading over there also. But now let's see, it's 2024, and this is how it is in 2024. It's spreading even more. All those patches in the lawn on this side right here, mainly filled in already. I haven't cut it. I'm about to cut it. Over there, we got the tree down. Notice the tree is gone. And the Bermuda is starting to flourish. It's spreading across the lawn. The boat's on that side now. We're going to clean all that up. So what I did right here, I took my weed eater and cut this side because I didn't want to brown it because it was too high. It, like I said, it's growing out of control. So I took my weed eater and did all this side. And you can see it's starting to move around the side of the house now that the boat is gone. Over there on the other side, the tree is gone. I used my zero turn on that because I don't mind if that browns. I'm more so focusing on this side over here. Another reason why you don't want to cut too low, they have the one third rule. Because if you see right there, the brown is right under the green right under under the under uh, the green so for guys who cut the lawn make sure you keep that in mind you, you know you got to lift those decks up 
if you cut it too low after two weeks, man, you can go, I mean, you go down one inch, man, it's going to brown everything. So just keep that in mind. If you want that green plus long, remember the one-third rule. On this side right here, you're starting to come in, you know, had a tree over there. The tree was blocking everything out. One thing I also noticed about how the lawn is spreading. In these bare spots, it turns green. And in those spots where it turned green, it looks like a mildew or mold or something. But those are the spots where the Bermuda crawls to. So it's like the, the ground itself is laying a pallet out for the Bermuda to lay in. It's crazy. You know, after it gets moist, it gets green right there. And the Bermuda, I've noticed, uh, travels to those areas. Not the dry areas, but those moist areas. And they they flourish there. And uh, next thing you know, it, it fills in. But this is what I got going on now. You know, like I said, my son asks, why well, did I say, but my son, he asks, Dad, why don't you, how'd you see the lawn? And I'm like, nah, I ain't trying to be prideful or nothing, but I just want one grass. I'll be patient. Another spot over here on the other side of the driveway, you can see where it's green at. The grass is going to spread there and cover that also. I don't know why it does that, but that's what it does. But a look at the whole lawn, front, follow us as we get it under control, underdog.